Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So if the title didn't already tell you, my sweater will. <laughs> Fred. That's Fred. I got a gift box. I got some things. Oh, it's on. It's it's on like Donkey Kong. Boom. Ooh. It, well, that, that ain't really no hot cocoa in there. <laughs> so I'm so excited to do. I love Christmas. I love the holidays. A lot of my friends are have different religions and cultures, and I love celebrating all the different types of what are they called? Holidays? <laughs> I don't know. Is there any other term than holidays? Yeah. Well, I love celebrating them because it's fun. People are happy. The energy's great. I just love it. I love it. I love it. Honestly, truly. <laughs> so we're gonna do this holiday themed ugly sweater party and I really hope you guys like it so let's go okay so so this is an ugly sweater Christmas look what happens when you go to an ugly sweater party yeah well you're wearing an ugly an ugly freaking sweater so you need to glam your face down Funny thing is, uh, one of my aunts is super religious, and she's like one of those aunts that talks in tongues. So every time I see her and I go to ugly sweater party, I pretend to talk in tongue. I'm like, uh, anyways. So to start this look off, I am going to be using the Melanie Mills Gleam. Um, this is the Gleam Body Radiance. It was her collaboration with Sandra Deluxe. I watched Sandra use this a lot and I'm like, oh my god, use it a bit as a base. And so I just thought like that's not gonna look good, like, but it always looks good on her face, so I tried it and it is bomb as a base. And the reason why I really like this color in peach, because it has an orange undertone, it's good at canceling out a lot of different colors. So I really, really, really like this. But unlike Sandra, I'm not gonna put it on with my hands. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on with a brush. So I'm using the Kat Von D number 10 brush. This brush is banging. I love the way it's angled. It makes it so easy to apply any kind of foundation or uh, lotion. This is buildable and once it dries, it doesn't transfer, which I really, really like. So the next thing I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use the Kat Von D waterproof foundation. Now, if you've heard on other videos, I usually do not like waterproof foundations because on my skin, uh, they always uh, seem to separate and crack. I know one of the girls who works for the company, I asked her, I was like, do you have any suggestions to help this maybe stay on? And she said, mix it with a primer. So if you're somebody who has any kind of issues with your waterproof foundations break it up, breaking up, I would suggest using a primer or for me, I'm going to be mixing it with the Embryo Lease Lotion and it goes on very smooth and for me it doesn't separate at all. Thank you for the advice. So the next thing I'm gonna be using is Smashbox's Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. Um, I like mixing this with Kat Von D's Whiteout. Yeah, their Whiteout Concealer. I may have problems with uh, waterproof uh, foundations, but with concealers, these, I love these. These work really, really, really well. Especially when you mix them together. Then I'm gonna use a beauty blender to blend it all in. So for contour, one of my favorite contours, I use it a lot cause it is bomb. And I told you guys I would try to practice on saying bomb, but I have issues and I like saying that word. I don't have any other words I use I can replace. Hmm. But yeah. Beautiful bronze, boom. So for applying the contour, I'm gonna be using the Luxie collaboration with JD Wadey 180. Um, this brush is brush number 181. This brush right here is bomb. It's so soft, so it's so easy to apply. Um, sometimes I like putting it where you use this and then you buff it out. But if you, some, but most of the time, I like just using this and then lightly layering it. I always put a, only a little bit and then I slightly just contour my face. People always ask me about when I go over my tattoos on my forehead or my hummingbird. Um, when I remember, I literally just get a makeup wipe and clean it up after so that it really pops. But be careful so you don't your makeup. Can you cuss on YouTube? I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that up because I got a potty mouth. 
So I'm going to be setting my face with two different powders. One um, is a darker and then one is lighter. So for the outside and my forehead, I'm going to be setting with Hot Makeup Professionals uh, Touch Me Up Press Powders. This is shade 10. Um, they, they do oxidize a little bit and they're a medium to full coverage. So I always say if you're going to pick a shade out, pick the shade lighter than your skin tone. They're mineral based, so they go on really, really smooth. And then for underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using LA Girls Pro Face Powders. Uh, this is the color Fair, I believe, yeah. And I'm gonna be using that under my eyes so that it's a little bit lighter. That shade 10 from Hot Makeup. Um, if I were to put it under my eyes, it might get a little bit dark, so I don't wanna take that chance. For my contour, I'm gonna be just defining a little bit with uh, Max Refined Golden uh, Bronzer just to warm up my cheeks. So for highlight, I'm so Artist Couture just came out with a collaboration with uh, one of my favorite people, um, Orfa Zinali. And this is her collaboration with Artist Couture and the color is called Slay Nolly. So I'm gonna be using that as a highlight so just a little heads up whenever you're using Artist Couture's highlights that they pack a lot of pigment. So I always say try to use the color that's in the lid first because it goes on a lot more light. Bam. So this color is also a really gold undertone. So whenever you're using any kind of bronzers and blushes, it looks really nice over peach tone blushes and orange based bronzers. It's blinding you, right? Don't blind, blind. Look at myself and yes, it's just blinding. So what what I like to do with a lot of highlighters is after I put the highlighter, I like to put blush over it. For some reason, with me, most highlighters that go on always seem to be a little bit um, ashy around my cheeks. So I'm using Hot Makeup Professionals blush in the shade Wanderlust, 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 Wanderlust. I don't know why, Wanderlust. Um, it's a beautiful peach tone color. I just add it to my cheeks to bring them to life and to take away a little bit of that ashiness. So now I'm gonna start on my eyes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is my brows. So I'm gonna be using the convertible brow in shade number two from The Brow Gal. Love this, love, love, love this brow product. So you can't, so this is a wet or dry pomade, so you can use it wet or dry. I like spraying it with the setting powder or a fix plus because it goes on a lot more pigmented. And for today, we gonna have some fierce brows. And as you guys know, I always start my brows from the bottom because I like to give them the shape and then blend it up. And with that same 24 hour proof waterproof 24 with the same 24 hour studio skin waterproof concealer I'm gonna use a little bit to go underneath my eyes to give them definition and I'm gonna be applying it with a flat brush so that it goes on smoother so Smashbox just came out with the collection of eyeshadow palettes with Shea Mitchell and I'm gonna be using the palette in a blaze this palette is bomb Boom. It has a lot of uh, very warm tones that I love using. You know, I'm all about them warm tones. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using Nirvana, I think. I'm not sure if these are flipped or not, but Nirvana, this color right here, as my transition color, so pretty. So whenever I'm doing eyeshadow, I like using brushes that are longer so that they have, so that the end doesn't have as much hair so it's easier to blend. So the next color I'm going to be using is Moccasin and I'm going to be using that on my brow to give my brow a little bit of a lightness to it on my brow bone, I should say. And then the other color, which is relaxed, I'm going to use that on my lid. And this one is more of a, the, the one I use on my brow bone. Uh, was more of a matte color. This one is a lot more of it. This is a shimmer 
so there's another color in here that's a little bit this color right here so I'm gonna use this right here just in the the outer corner of the eye give a little bit of dimension so I'm also going to be using that same color that throwback color underneath as well I like it has a little bit of like a reddish hue And just to give a little pop, I'm using this orange color that's in here called Delirious. And I'm just putting it right in the inner, in the innards, in the inner duct. And I'm going to be totally honest with you. I actually meant to use the, the color I put on my lid, but I put that color instead. But that was a good mistake. That shit is very good. So I'm going to also use Girl Lactic Black Neor Liner. And I don't really do wing liners a lot. Um, I've just never really been too huge of a fan. But I do like putting, uh, just because I like my lids to show. So I like them. But I do like just putting a little bit so that when I throw the lashes on, you can't, it looks even and nice. And nice and pretty. So the next thing I'm going to be using is um, a pair of lashes. So these lashes I made myself. Um, they're actually two different lashes. So the bottom, the main lash, is um, our Dell's Demi Wispies. And then I got Nabootsum's lashes in Bella. I cut them up and then put them at the ends. I really like lashes that like flare out on the ends. Thinks it makes it look sexy. And then the mascara that I'm going to apply beforehand is uh, Indecent, ex wait, Indecent Exposure from Smashbox's Exposure uh, Collection. I really love this. It's really, really black. And then I'm also going to be using uh, Makeup Geek's uh, Full Spectrum Liner in the waterline. I love using lighter colors in the waterline because it makes my eye look bigger because I have smaller eyes. Okay, so now for my lips, I'm actually going to do a cool combo. I was Sometimes when I'm bored, I go in my restroom and I just play around with makeup by myself. I really make friends. So I, I created this cool combo, which is Cherry Red Lip Liner from MAC, Ruby Woo from, and this cool little new case that they have from their uh, fragrance uh, collection. I'm topping it off with uh, Jeffree Star's new liquid lipstick in Dreamhouse. And I just put that in, in, the little, in the center and I blend it out. It's bomb. It's great. <laughs> and let's be honest, what is a Christmas look especially an ugly sweater Christmas party look without some red lips and throwing some pink for that pop. And ta-da! This is my finished look. Perfect. When you're sipping that uh, coffee with a little bit of vodka. Thank you guys so much. I, You know what's so funny? I wasn't even going to do this at all. And then somebody on Instagram literally was just like, Hey, you should do an ugly sweater look. So the last thing you need is, wait, wait, ta-da, bam, some glasses, boom, take out them la the lenses so that you, you don't, your lashes don't have to uh, be all pressed up because you know we, we go hard with our lashes, so our lashes be gangster. And bam, then you go in there with your mug, with your birdie, and tear it up. So thank you guys for suggesting this, and like always, Thank you for spending this time with me. I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas or what, you know, a happy holiday. Because if you celebrate something else, all to you. Happy holidays. Just be with your family. Put some good energy into the world. And um, leave me your comments. I hope you really like it. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to, sub don't forget to subscribe. Just kidding. <laughs> and until next time. Bye.